Hello, everyone. Good evening. How are you? Fancent. Okay. Hello, Genaro, Carlos. Carlos, eh, tené mucho, mucho ruido a, a tu alrededor, Carlos. Okay. Eh, hello, Brian. How are you? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Alejandra. Hello, Aurora. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All right. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Fine. Yes? Did you do anything special? Did you do something I, special? Uh -huh. I'm going my family. I'm going or I went? Pass. I'm going. No, I'm going. Yo voy a ir con mi familia. No, estamos hablando del weekend. Ah, so okay. it's past. Past. Ah, past. Um, what is the past? Uh, the weekend in visited uh, my family. Okay, I visited my family. Very good. <laughs> And okay, Genaro, go is present. Went. Okay. I went. Is past. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, very good. No se te olvide los pasados y los presentes. The verbs. Ok. They're very important. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, did you guys receive the job aid? Yes? Yes. All right. Let's go to, uh, let's do the first thing. I want to see the video, right? The, uh, the lesson that we're going to look at today. So let me go to... Uh, English Corporativo, let me go to the platform. In English, we say platform. Okay, we're going to be finishing section two. And tomorrow we're going to start on section four. Okay. All right, so uh, before we start, eh, ¿Dónde están en la plataforma? Carlos, where are you? Eh, 3.4. Ok, 3.4, almost finished with section 3, ok. Eh, esta, eh, me gustaría que esta semana termine en la 4 también. Ok. This week, finish 4 also. Alejandra, where are you in the platform? Section 4. Section 4, excellent. Genaro. Where are you in the platform? Section four. Section four, good, good. Hey, Aurora, where are you in the platform? Voy ya este por la cuarta. Section four. Uh -huh. Okay. Section four. Hector, hello, good evening. Hey, where are you, Hector? Five. Well, a five, perfect. Section five, okay, very good, Hector. Good, good. And let's see, David, where are you in the platform? Good night, good evening, teacher. Uh, today I start section four. Okay, today you're going to start section four, excellent, right? So this week I would like you to finish section four, right? Para todos. Uh, este mi objetivo es que ustedes puedan terminar la sección cuatro, all right? All right, no, no vayan a mi paso, porque recuerden que yo voy un poquito más despacio para poder captar los temas. All right, so you can be in section four, finish section four this week. Okay, so we're going to do this lesson today. We're going to talk about prepositional places, okay? Prepositional places, right? Uh, let me ask you a question. Are you going to travel to to the, uh, another country one day? Do you plan on going to another country to visit? Yes? ¿Algún país? Guatemala. Okay, Guatemala, you want to go to Guatemala, okay. And let's say, for example, you go to Guatemala um, and you go to Antigua. Have you been to Antigua, Guatemala? No, teacher. Okay. Eh, I went, creo que he ido two, two times. 
Let me tell you about Antigua, Guatemala, okay? The people there, they speak five languages. <laughs> yes, the people there in, what the, in, in Antigua, Guatemala, they speak like five languages. ¿Saben por qué hablan tanto? Por el turismo. ¿Cuáles son? Mira, they speak English, French, Spanish, y otro de, wow. eh, eh, lenguaje de ellos que I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes. So when you go to Antigua, Guatemala, right, you're going to see a, a person there selling in the street, right? Ahí en el parque vas a ver una persona vendiendo lo que sea. And you know what? They speak four or five languages. <laughs> yes. Yes. So what I'm telling you is, el punto es, English, you can use it anywhere. In Guatemala, in, in, in Canada, in the United States, in Colombia, you're always going to find people that speak English, okay? It's the universal language, English, right? De hecho, in Alemania, English, airport. France, English, airport, right? So we're going to give directions. We're going to ask and give directions, right? ¿Cuántos han preguntado una dirección en inglés o han tenido que dar una dirección en inglés? Okay. So ahora vamos a aprender cómo, right? Using prepositions and directions, vocabulary. All right, ready? I want to play this video. And por los que no, no han visto el video, algunos ya lo vieron, creo, right? So I want to go and play the video, okay? For example, try Sorry, to answer the start following. start from the beginning. Order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. Repeat. On. on the corner of. On the corner of. Across from. Across from. Next to. Next to. Between. Between. The department store is on Main Street. The it's on the corner on of Main, Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on 
Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. Let's practice the following. And first? Yes, it's a... The bank... I'm looking for the map. It's on... Okay, here's the map, right? So we learned uh, five prepositions. ¿Cuáles eran las prepositions en el video? There was five. On. On. Uh -huh. on, on the on corner, the corner of, of. On the corner across of. Across from. Across from. Across from. Next to and between. Next to and between. Ahí están las cinco. All right, las voy a repetir. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. And between. Okay. So, usamos on cuando algo está sobre una calle, right? For example, the post office, right? The post office is on Center Street. On the corner of, right? For example, the department store is on the corner of, right? En la esquina de, en la esquina de. Obviamente, cuando hablo de the corner of, tengo que dar dos puntos de referencia, right? On the corner of First Avenue and Main Street, right? Okay. On the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Estoy dando dos puntos de referencia. Across from, okay? The park is across the department store. Puede ser vice versa también, right? Next to, right? Uh, for example, the bank is next to, no se ve muy bien, pero dice Mario's Restaurant. Next to, a la par de, right? Between. ¿Qué quiere decir between? Entre. Entre, Entre right? En medio de dos cosas, right? Uh, the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay? Preguntas? Questions? For that? Questions on the meaning of the five prepositions, right? So let me, let's go to the, to the job A. Pueden ver la guía? Si? Ah, hold on. Esta no. Esta fue la de last week. Sorry, let me let me get the one for number nine. Okay, number nine for today. Okay, all right. So we're going to go ahead and look at the prepositions, and we're going to do a speaking activity. Alguien tiene alguna duda? No le quedó claro lo de las prepositions? Okay, all right. Aquí están en la guía. On, on the corner of across from, next to, and between. Okay, alguna duda? Preguntas, questions? Uh, mm -hmm. No, no se mira la presentación, teacher. Ah, okay. Disculpe. Thank you. Okay. No, gracias a usted. All right. On. On the corner of, across from, next to, in between, right? Those are the prepositions that we're going to work on. All right, we're going we're going to practice this. Uh, Alguien tiene alguna duda? 
salgan de duda ahorita para no tener problemas con la actividad. Ready? ¿Cómo se dice que tal lugar está al otro lado de la cuadra, por ejemplo? Across. You can use across. Okay. No, pero al otro lado de la cuadra, no de la calle. Ok, esa no está allí. On the other side. Ok. Eh, cuadra se dice block. Ok, on the other side of the block. Ok. On the other side, el otro lado de la cuadra. On the other side of the block. Ok. Questions? All right, so sobre, sobre las preposiciones en las cinco. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, and between. All right, so let's go to a speaking activity. Ya les voy a enseñar lo que van a hacer, look. Speaking number one, work in pairs and take turns answering the following questions using preposition of places, okay? So una pregunta, una persona, perdón, pregunta, otra contesta. Where is the bank? Now, les voy a enseñar el mapa que van a usar. Aquí está. Okay, van a usar este mapa. Lo voy a poner en WhatsApp también. Lo voy a tirar una, una foto de este mapa. Do you see the bank here? Uh, the question number one is, where is the bank? So the first thing you have to do is locate the bank. The bank is right here. Okay? So usando las preposiciones, ¿qué me pueden decir? ¿Cómo me pueden describir? ¿Dónde está el bank? El bank. bank. Where is the bank? Hmm? The bank is on the corner, the corner of Davis and Street Main, Main Street. Correct. It's on the corner of Davis and Main Street. Very good. Uh, Pueden usar otra preposición? Sí. Yeah. What else? ¿Cuál otra podemos usar? The bank is next to Music Store. The bank is next to the music store. Very good. Uh -huh. Another one? The bank is across from Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. The bank is here. Vamos a ver. The bank is here and the Italian restaurant is here, right? Correct. The bank is across the street from the Italian restaurant. Very good, excellent. So that basically, eso es lo que van a hacer, right? Speaking conversation. So this is the map and these are the questions, all right? And this is the vocabulary we're going to use, all right? We're going to work on this activity for maybe 10 minutes, okay? At 9.30, we stop and we go to the other activity. Any questions? No question. Okay, let's go to groups. All right, so everybody ready? Eh, Le va a caer el mensaje para que vayan al grupo. Please accept, accept. Okay, hello, Evelyn. Are you there, Evelyn? Where is the bank? The bank is across from Italian restaurant. 
Uh, where is the park? The park. The park is on the corner of Main Street and Street. It's Maple Street. Maple Street. Mm -hmm. I see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Where is bookstore? Bookstore. Hi, teacher. Bookstore. Nice to meet you too. Uh, floor is here also in this group. I put floor here. Okay, you guys are doing good. Excellent, Brian. Continue. All right. And then after you answer the questions, you can ask the question to, to Stephanie. Uh, what's another activity that you guys can do is Make your own questions. The bookstore is on the corner of Maple Street and Main Street. Street, Main Street. Memphis. Main, Main Street. Main Street, Main Street. Okay. Where is Bob a store? Bookstore. Bookstore, Main Street. Bookstore, Main Street. Okay, mira, me lo busco por aquí. Okay. English, English, please. Practice English. <laughs> the bookstore is... Street. Street. Maple Street. Correcto. English, please. Okay. Practice English. Sería... Mm -hmm. and... Sería... And... And... On the corner of uh, Mabel Street. Corner. Uh -huh. Okay. The corner. La otra forma es decir que the post office is where is swimming pool. Ah. Eh, sabe que le escuché Winnie Pooh y yo, ¿qué? ¿Cuál Winnie Pooh? Dije yo, pero ya después le entendí Swimming Pool. <ríe> ok. Is on the corner of Park. Is next to the drop store. And. Is on Maple Street. Okay. And um, where is Music Store? Music Store. Okay. The Music Store is between the newsstand and bank. Is Across from movie theater uh -huh. and is on the is on Davis Street. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Um, where is um uh, uh, where, where is Pat's office? Okay, Pat's of, bus office is next to the Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Is on the main street and is across from the Bank. Okay. Uh, where is travel agent? Agent. Travel agent. Where is travel? Ah, agent. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Travel agent. Aha, uh -huh, sí, sí, sí. Um, the travel agent is across. From the grocery store is on Davis Street and is next to 
the Italian restaurant. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. uh, where is news stand? Okay, is on Davis. Oh, no. uh, where was store? Lo voy a buscar yo, permítame. Sí, es que aquí no lo miro. Me lo busco yo. Bosch por. Ah. restaurant. Boston. Ah, está a la par de Chinese restaurant. Está el banco de ahí el Chinese y está en la esquina. English, please, Daniel. English. Oh, perdón, excuse me. <laughs> English. Eh, tell me. Ya, ya, ya. Sí. English, Entonces, please. The bookstore. On the. On the corner of. Main Street. Um. Ajá, sería um, también cuando decimos y y y maple street maple street maple street maple street ajá o maple street entonces on puede corner of, uh -huh. on the corner on the corner in the corner main 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 street three and my my do you que así es a decir my street sí yo también Y no que nos corrija. Next. Tell me. Next. Where, where, where is Grons Grocery Store? Grocery Store. Es como the tienda. Grocery Store. Ah. Um, okay. O también podemos ocupar on the corner of bank. In the mm, bank. No, no puedes decir in the corner of bank. In the bank. Sería enfrente, sería enfrente de bank. Okay. From, from the, from... Uh, sería across from, al, no, sería en la, enfrente, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. enfrente. Eh, vea, vean las, las preposiciones. Si tienen la guía allí, vean las preposiciones para no estar adivinando. Across sería across, across, across on, no, from, across from the bank. Yes, that's correct, Daniel. Uh -huh. Across from the bank. That's uh -huh. correct. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question each, right? Uh, Daniel, where is the swimming pool? Uh, the swimming pool on uh, across from the park. Yes, very good. Uh, don't forget to say is. Okay. Is. One more time. Yes. Uh, um, the the park. No, where, no, where is the swimming pool? Uh, the when, uh, the when, no, swimming, swimming, mm -hmm. swimming. the wind is swimming, swimming pool across from is, 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 is a bar. Okay. One more time, Daniel. Where is the swimming pool? Swimming pool. Uh, the, the swimming pool uh, 
Is. Uh, is across from the park. Yes, that is that. That's correct. The swimming pool is across is. the street from that. Se te olvid, se está olvidando el is. ¿Qué significa estar? Yes, correct. El verbo estar. estar. Presente, right? Yes, okay. correct. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, next. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to ask you, Delmi, a question. Where is, uh, let me see, where is the bus stop? Where is the bus stop? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's on the top. Está arriba. Arriba. Uh -huh. Arriba de la imagen, en el centro, pero arriba de la imagen. Ah, ya, 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 ya le encontré. Bueno. Where is the, the bus book, stop? The bookstore is... No, no bookstore, no, bus stop. Bookstore. Of the corner of... In the park. Mm. No. No. Oh, across, across from. Across In from what? Across, across from? from? Mm -hmm. In the park. No. Mm -mm. That's not correct. No. Where is the bus stop? On the corner of. On the, on the corner of. Mm -hmm. In the park. No. 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 Si, si tú usas in the corner of, tenés que, ¿te acuerdas que dije que ten, tienes que dar dos puntos de referencia? Es decir, en la esquina de estas dos calles. Uh, Where is the bus stop? On the corner. In the, on the corner of Maple Street, mm -hmm. May Street. Yes. Maple Street and, y, and quiere decir. Y and Main Street. Okay, one more time, one more time. Where is the bus stop? The bus stop in... Is, se te, te está como Daniel, se te está olvidando el is. Is, is on the corner of in May Street and in Maple Street. Very good, very good. Okay, one more question for you, tell me. Where is the movie theater? Where is the movie theater? The movie city next to is, is, is next to in the Parking lot. It's and next to the parking lot. In Baby Strip. Mm, cuando tú dices no. next to, Delmi, no es necesario de nombrar dos puntos de referencia, ya que solamente está diciendo está a la par de este lugar. It's next to. Okay. Okay, Delmi. Y Daniel, tarea. Repasar este video otra vez. Ok. Ok. okay. Este video es el 3.6. 3.6. Okay. Sí. Okay. Right. Siento, que, siento que están batallando mucho. Sí. Ok. ¿Por qué? Okay, very good. Welcome back. I gave you five more minutes to complete the activity, right? I hope you guys practice. I hope you guys had a chance to practice. Let me ask you some questions, okay? Based on this activity, uh, let me make this bigger, okay? Hector, look at the, the picture here. Where is the bus stop? Look at my screen. Did you find the bus stop? Where 
where is the bus stop? Hector, Hector, tu micrófono está apagado. I cannot hear you. I, I can't hear you, Hector. Your microphone. Okay. Okay. See, see. Now, yes. <laughs> it's on the corner of uh, Street Marple and Street Main. Okay. Eh, no digas y porque y es eh, en español, sino que vamos a decir and, right? And. So, correct. The bus stop is on the corner of Main Street and M Maple Street. Very good. Very good, Hector. Okay, Gabriela, are you there? Gabriela? Hi, teacher. Okay, let me ask you a question. Where is the swimming pool? Um, is it on the corner of and Maple Street? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, no, not that, it's not in the corner of Maple Street because aquí está Maple uh, Street, right? Uh, uh, pues sería entonces, is the next to drugstore? It's next to the drugstore. Very good. Aquí está, right? Next to the drugstore. Excellent. All right. Very good. Uh, questions about this activity? Alguien tuvo una duda? Pregunta? Questions about this activity? Okay. This is the video 3.6, right? Si batallaron con esto, eh, les recomiendo que vean el video otra vez. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, we're going to learn new vocabulary, all right? This is going to be giving directions, right? Por veces tenemos que dar la dirección, right? So, en la primera actividad estamos preguntando la, la dirección. Pero aquí estamos dando direcciones, okay? So, look, look at the vocabulary here. Repeat after me. Number one, turn left. Repeat, turn left. Turn, turn left. Uh -huh. turn, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Okay. Go straight. Go straight. Okay. Deberían de estar repitiendo la pronunciación. Practice the pronunciation. Go straight. Go straight. Y lo de abajo. Ya vamos para allá. Relax. <laughs> No. <laughs> go past. Go past. Go past. All right. Do go you understand? Que significa go past? That means this is my point of reference, and I'm telling you, go past. Continue. Okay. Do you understand? Después de. Mm, yeah. Como decir después de. Okay. Continue. Right. Pasa este punto de referencia and continue. Very good. Across. 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 También se puede decir cross, que está dando una dirección, cross. una dirección, una instrucción a alguien. Cross. Cross, cross the street. Okay. Cross. Digamos que esta calle se llama Main Street, right? Digamos, right? Y le digo que cruce Main Street. Cross Main Street. Okay. All right. Repeat. Turn left. Turn left. Left. Turn left. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Go straight. Go straight. Go past. Go, go past. past. Across. 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 Very good. And let's look at the other ones. Instructions. Um, esta preposición ya la vieron ustedes. Que es la misma que estaban en en el en el video que vimos. Okay. Number one. At the corner of, okay. or you can say on the corner of, it's the same. At the corner of, next to, right? Esa ya la practicaron ustedes, next to, opposite. Esta no estaba en el video, pero significa referencia opuesta, right? Opposite. Between, between. 
Okay, very good. So speaking number two, all right, asking for directions, right? Uh, let's say, for example, right, uh, let's do a practice here with this, okay? Uh, no sé si ven el punto de referencia aquí. Dice, you are here. Do you see it here? Right? It says, you are here. Es decir, usted está aquí. All right? Now, yo lo voy a cambiar, okay, un poquito. Voy a poner a la persona aquí. Uh, let's say, aquí, en el bus stop. All right? Quiere direcciones. The person is here in the bus stop. Okay? Um, ¿Quién quiere darme direcciones? How do I get, okay, how do I get to the movie theater? How do I get to the movie theater? Okay, so I want to go from there, donde estoy allí, en bus stop, I want to go here. Who can give me directions? All right, eso es lo que van a hacer ustedes, dar direcciones, right? So, le voy a ayudar con el primero. Okay, go straight on Main Street, go straight, right? Turn right, right? Imagínense si van bajando. Turn right on Davis Street. The movie theater is next to the parking lot. Right? Ya me dieron la dirección. Ya llegué. Okay? Very good. Ustedes van a hacer eso. All right? Van a trabajar en grupo y van a hacer eso. Uh, for example, I am in the bank, right? Digamos que estoy acá. I am in the bank. Tienen que dar un punto de referencia donde están. I am in the bank. Um, I ask another person, excuse me, how do I get to the Italian restaurant? All right, ¿Quién quiere intentar? ¿Quién me puede dar direcciones? Give me directions, right? I am right here. <laughs> no con el dedo. No, no muevan, no, no marquen todavía. <laughs> All right, speaking, who can give me directions? Come on, intenting. Come on, practice. Can I English. keep it? Yes, yes. Who are you? What's your name? David. Ah, David. Okay, I can't see you. Okay, David, give me directions, please. How do I get from the bank to the Italian restaurant? Okay, you are you are here in the bank in the mm -hmm. bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, go straight go straight ahead. Mm -hmm. In the Maple Street, mm -hmm. then um, turn turn right mm -hmm. in Main Main Street, mm -hmm. then Italian restaurant is across from the bank. No, it's not across <laughs> from the bank. Porque el banco está acá. The Italian That's restaurant is here. Ah, ah, no, perdón, perdón. Sorry, David. No vi este banco. You are correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ahí está, right? Very good, David. Excellent. Good job. Good job. You gave me good directions, all right? Very good. So, eso es lo que van a hacer. All right, you guys are going to go in the groups, and you're going to do this. I have some questions here for you to help you, right? For example, uh, you can say... Pueden usar el primer mapa que teníamos antes o pueden usar este también. Aquí hay otro mapa. Tengo tres. De hecho, tengo tres mapas. Ok. So, use different maps. Right? Recuerden, le tienen que dar un punto de referencia a la persona donde están parados. And then, where do you want to go? Ok. So, eh, asking for directions. ¿Cómo puedo preguntar? I can say, where is the bank? Look, where is the bank? I can say, how far is the bank from here? I can also ask, is the bank near the supermarket? How do I get to the bank? Esta es la más común. 
Right? So, ustedes van a usar esta. How do I get to the bank? O pueden usar la primera también. Where is the bank? Okay? How do I get to the bank? Okay? Hay otra, hay diferentes formas. You can also ask for directions. Say, can you give me directions, please? Okay? All right. Very good. Questions? We have 10 minutes for this activity. Un poquito más de 10 minutos, right? Como unos 15 minutos. Ready? We're going to work on this activity, right? I want you to put everything together. Vamos a usar prepositions, vocabularies, directions, etc. All right, look at the map there. There's different maps for you guys to use. Pueden usar diferentes mapas, whatever is best for you. Evelyn, are you there? Please accept the invitation, please. Go to your group. Hello, Beatriz. Huh? Gabriela. Gabriela, también. Sí. Hi, Hi Gabriel. Um, si gusta, entonces, de él me pregunte a Gabriela. Bueno, acordamos que el mismo punto de encuentro va a ser para no perdernos. Ok, first, what map are you going to use? Okay. What map are you going to use? El que usamos al prim, al fear. El primero. First. First. Say, se dice first. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, the first map. Uh, so, you are in the bus stop, right? Van a estar allí. Es el punto de referencia, bus stop. Okay, uh, who's going to ask the question? Who's going to give directions? Gabriela, where is the bus? Gabriela, are you there? Gabriela. Where is the pack? Mm. Eh, there's two banks. Eh, tell me, hay dos bancos. No sé cuál quiere usar. There's two banks. El tú. Tú. El que está abajo. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, Gabriela, you're going to give directions. Pero sería como un punto de referencia, donde estuviera ella y a donde quería llegar. Dijimos que en el basta, van a usar el basta. Ah, ya, ya. Mira, en realidad ustedes pueden usar cualquier punto de referencia, ¿ok? Si usan otro punto de referencia, la actividad es un poquito más dinámica porque ustedes van a estar cambiando. ¿Ok? Pero eh, aquí los compañeros no se sienten cómodos, entonces ellos dijeron que ese punto de referencia solamente. Pero prefiero que lo cambien para que ustedes puedan dar diferentes direcciones. ¿Ok? All right, very good. Complete the activity, please. All right, you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. Bob stop. Um, well down. Um, well down. 
uh, May Street. Um, um, is on the corner. Across from Italian restaurant. The bank is across. Ah. Is banned at, at Crossroad, Italia Restaurant. Okay. The bank is across from the Italian restaurant. Repeat. Is banned. No. Banned. Es decir, el banco, the bank. Ah, the bank. Ah, the bank. The, the bank, bank is. The bank is at Crossroad. Is. Italia restaurant? Yes, very good, very good. Now, your turn, Gabriela. You're going to ask for directions, right? Le puedes preguntar a Delmi, a Daniel. How can I get to um, Smithport? The what? Repeat. How can get to mm -hmm. uh, a smooth point? Uh, new stand. No sé si quieres decir new stand. No, como la piscina. Swimming. 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 Ah, swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Uh -huh. swimming pool. Okay. Swimming pool. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sería tour, eh, tour legs, eh, tour legs, eh, turn left, left, tour, tour legs, eh, library, turn left on Main Street. Ahí sería que cruzaría turn left. en la calle Main Street. Ajá. Y pues de ahí me voy. Si no me dice otra cosa, me voy por toda la Main Street hasta el camino. No, ahí se para, Brian, por Ajá. favor. Ahí ahora. English, eh, come on. English. And now. Sorry. Now. Uh, to let uh, Main Street. Yo sigo street. caminando. Me voy. Main Street. Eh, sería, ay, perdón, perdón. Fit Strip. Library. Mm, sería turn left. Turn no. left. Lord, okay. you're not using the directions. Turn left, turn right. Turn right. Turn, turn right. left, on, turn right. ¿Sabe cuál es la turn. derecha? ¿Sabe cómo decir derecha y izquierda en inglés? Turn left. ¿Cómo se dice izquierda? Eh, ahorita quiero ver mm. eh, izquierda sería toilet ajá yes, y de derecha sería to right right very good cuando llegue una calle imagínese que hay un alto allí entonces él ajá. tiene que saber eso ok uh, está bien está bien Brian entonces sería to right Torlat eh, Library. On, turn left on. Torlat o Library. Mm, yo no veo una calle que se llama calle. Library. Es que él necesita llegar a la librería, pero no sé cómo ubicarlo. Ah, turn entonces... left on street. On the first street. Ah, Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. eh, oh, eh, oh, English, English, too much Spanish, Flor. Think no English. problem, no problem. Okay. No, not you, Flor. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Es conmigo. Uh, Sorry, Brian, yo no sé cómo. Vaya, tranquilo, ahí vaya. Ya me dijo que cruzara. Right. Ya me dijo que cruzara la primera calle. Ahora, para ser más específico, usted me puede decir. Flor. Librería. Flor. Okay. Homework. Excuse Diga. me. Flor. ¿Usted ya vio esta, esta sección del video? De la plataforma, que es el 3.6. ¿Ya vio este video? No, no. 
Entonces, por eso, mire, mire, por eso está ahorita pataleando. Because, es que, because ajá, es que justo ahora empecé la lección 3, oh. la, 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 empecé ahora la 3, pero solo vi la 3-1. Entonces, pregúntele a usted, Flora, a Stephanie, para hacer. Ok, uh, we have another person, uh, Stephanie and Brian, you're going to have a conversation. Okay. Stephanie, are you there? Okay. Okay. I am the church. Okay. How do I get to the to the bank? To the bank. Okay. Go past. Go past. Central Avenue, mm -hmm. turn right, Fear Street, and go, no, turn right, Main Street, the bank is Next to police station. Very okay. good. Excellent. Good job. Uh, okay. Stephanie. Very good, Stephanie. Now, now change. Brian, mm -hmm. now, Same. Stephanie, okay. you ask him for directions. Okay. I am. A... Hoy sí me escucha, Aurora. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. How do I get to cafe? Ah. Y el punto de referencia, ¿cuál me dijo que era? Porque no le escuché. Ah, vaya, no hay problema. Vaya, va a ser eh, donde dice hotel. Hola. Hotel and church. Entonces, eh, eh, Cross Hill Street, eh, tour, tour left on Central Avenue, eh, Cross, Cross, eh, and the corner school and walk up and on walk street cross main street and uh, across from the bank okay and the finally where is the bank Perdón, no lo escuché. Where is the bank? Ah, where is the bank? Where is the bank? Eh, eh, walk up Hill Street. Okay, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back. All right. So, uh, are there any questions about this activity? Okay. Espero que le haya gustado. Es para que ustedes apliquen lo que están aprendiendo. All right. Speaking time. Okay. Eh, mi recomendación es que no hablen español. Ahí right? se, se lo estoy diciendo aquí para que todos me entiendan bien. Eh, traten de usar en ese tiempo inglés solamente. Okay. English only. When we go to the breakout rooms, speak English only, okay? Yo veo y escucho algunos que hacen el 80% de la actividad en español y el 20% solamente en inglés. Eso no es el punto, <laughs> right? English, practice English, okay? So, and this is week number three, right? Mañana eh, estamos en clase número 10, solamente nos faltan 6. Okay. 
and that's it. We're finished. All right. So deberían de estar ahorita ya terminando la tres y comenzando con la cuatro. Sección, sección tres y cuatro. All right. Very good. Questions? Questions? Eh, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Nos podría mandar la presentación de clase número ocho? Mm, si lo tiene. De la clase número ocho. ¿Cuál presentación? Es que la, nos mandó de las 7, pero de las 7 nos mandó a la 9. No sé si tendrá la 8 o, o no la tendrá. No, yo la mandé la 8. compartir? La 8 la usamos. La usamos. Tien, tiene que estar en el grupo. Busque la 8. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, all right, very good. Eh, ahí les queda el video en nuestra lista de YouTube. Pueden ver el video otra vez. Si me incorporé tarde a la clase, pueden ver el video otra vez. Pueden ver eh, los videos en la plataforma y eso les va a ayudar. ¿okay? Eh, también prepárense. Ya saben más o menos dónde estamos en la clase. Vean el video eh, que sigue para que ustedes estén preparados para la clase. ¿okay? Y sobre todo, practiquen el, el speaking. ¿Ok? Que esta es la parte donde ustedes pueden, eh, eh, por eso yo hago acti actividad de speaking. ¿va? Ustedes ven que yo no hago writing, no lo pongo a escribir, no hago reading, no lo pongo a leer inglés. Eh, listening, eh, creo que unas dos o tres veces he hecho listening. Pero ¿en qué me fo enfoco? En speaking, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan tener eh, la oportunidad de aplicar ese conocimiento. ¿Ok? Hablando ya, en la vida real. Okay, very good. So I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Take care. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. All right. Yeah. Bye.